Good evening, I'm Dan Cashman. Would you believe this? This spring will be the 20th anniversary of the premiere of the original version of The Night Show. That version of The Night Show began on April 12th, 1997. In fact, in March of that year, we filmed the pilot episode for The Night Show, which mercifully is no longer around, down that road. That's where WBGR TV 33 is located, and that's where our show premiered in 1997. At the time, it was a WB affiliate. We taped that pilot episode in their studio, which was a converted garage, relatively small by today's standards, but we crammed about 30 audience members in, a couple of guests, a band, myself, our then announcer Rich Norton, crew, cameras, and lights, and we taped the very, very first night show. What you're going to see tonight is sort of an evolution of where we started to where we are now. The different taping locations we've had over the last 20 years has sort of spelled out the changes. We started with a pilot episode at this studio. We moved on for a short time to the Old Town Community Center, then to the Knights of Columbus Hall in Old Town. Then we switched stations in 2001, and we started taping at WVII Studios in Bangor, and we were on their sister station, UPN 30. In 2002, we went away for a long time. In 2010, we came back and started taping at the Next Generation Theater in Brewer before eventually moving to the Gracie Theater, our current home in Bangor on the campus of Hudson University in 2014. We'll take you through all of those places with some interviews and some memories over the next half hour with this, The Night Show Goes Home. Remember Don McLean uh, was on the community center and um, looked very uncomfortable being there, I might add. Yep. Um, so that's uh, next Saturday, June 28th at uh, 8 p.m. And uh, I encourage you all to come out. So that'll be over by 11, right? So everyone can rush home and catch the night show. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> this is the only cable show I've ever seen that isn't pornographic. So. Really? <laughs> oh. I just remember that that guy opens his mouth in that magical voice of his, I mean, uh, it's hard to be a pack as someone who has tried to sing in a band a with uh, limited success, this guy makes it look so easy, and he's got such a great the voice. the dogs Jesus. are barking and the children seem to know that Jesus on the highway was a lost hobo. And they hear the holy silence of the temple. Like any new show, we had our problems. And they Ours just happened to make it on television. So you gave him a job holding the cute guys and you got them all screwed up and then he tried to arrange them properly and he dropped them all in. These are actual bills presented to the legislature. First one. Help. <laughs> <laughs> our cue cards are everywhere now. I'm gonna be lost for the rest of the show. <laughs> This is the best rehearsal we've ever we're getting. We're getting first aid over here. <laughs> you can't get enough. LD 1232, an act to provide for relief from barking dogs. Now these are, are I swear to God, these are actual um, bills. Um, and an act to prohibit the selling of children. Now, <laughs> there they are. <laughs> is the next cue card ready? Because I need it now. I need the next cue card. While we're waiting, how about, uh, oh, there we go. No, no, it's not our first guest just yet. Go back to one before that. Yeah, I don't think he came back after that. Oh, no. Next week. Next week's show. You, you shouldn't do that. By, by the way, the cue card guy. May I suggest a, a, a hat rack? I Tom Morelli on there. He's always a good guest. I know Rick Tyler several times. Uh, you know, those guys are always good. Are you looking for a talk show? One where all the stars go, where only smiles grow, and you're in the front row. You're looking for Danny Cashman, that cable TV talk man. Schmoozing guests so wacky antic, from Whittapit Lock to Willomantic, working without payment. Now that's entertainment, and now here's Dan Cashman. Well, I remember you got kicked out, for scratching the floor. Kicked out indeed. So from the Old Town Community Center, after just a few short months, our new home was the Old Town Knights of Columbus Hall. And uh, 
George Hale, I think. George Hale was, that show he did at the KC Hall, when Rich was your number two guy, he may have been one of the funnier guests you ever had. He, uh, he had everybody cracking up. <laughs> the most disgusting film I've ever seen in my life. You ought to be embarrassed. The whole family ought to be embarrassed. Old Town High School ought to be embarrassed. That is disgusting. It was green and pink and blue. And you went to the University of Maine? Yes. You're ashamed. <laughs> Your whole family's ashamed of you. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean it's my first year with the University of Maine? I've been here for... Uh, I didn't write the cue cards, okay? <laughs> what idiot wrote the cue cards? <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> no, because... There's enough. No, no, with, with, with the TV station. That's their first I year. I built doing... that field. Did you? They dug up my field last week. Oh, man. That... Uh, I'm going to be buried in that field. Now they put AstroTurf on it. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. I'm older than dirt. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, 6 o'clock in the morning. Why should I morning? get there? When is it? Weekdays? Week, weekday, six you know, I get the distinct feeling. Now, I, I, you know, I know your father. I know this whole. I get the distinct feeling you don't listen to me. What the? Why am I wasting my whole time coming in here, bailing this sick show out, and you don't even listen? You were riding Vince Pavacqua pretty hard. He was on Channel Two News back then, and you had him on the show, and. Uh, he said something and he said, well, I don't usually, I wouldn't normally say something like that on camera. And then he looked at the film, people making the film and he said, or should I say on camcorders? Because that's what you were doing the show on was camcorders, not cameras. And then there was Imus. Photobombed his appearance in uh, Bangor and, uh, and put it on. Um, Imus was good to you. I Imus cuts both ways. A lot of people love him. A lot of people think he's horrible, but uh, he was always good to you. Uh, what is it, you, you wanted to have me on? Yes, I wanted to, uh, quit while I <laughs> was saying that. <laughs> uh, what did you, uh, what did you want to know from me? Well, we were just going to ask you a few questions about, uh, like, for instance, talking about your, your kid, which I know you talk about a lot, right. uh, Wyatt, and, uh, and the Clinton thing, what's your, what's your actual opinion? I've heard you kind of flip-flop every oh. once in a while. Oh. Oh. Okay. I, I really don't think, I think he should resign just out of a sense of decency. And, yeah. 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 Barring that, we should probably drop it because I, it would be entertaining to have these hearings, but <laughs> it, uh, I'm as concerned about the performance of Ken Starr sitting over there <laughs> <laughs> the original version of The Night Show went off the air in 1999 and then started back up in 2001. Airing on Bangor's UPN affiliate, The Night Show was produced at WVII Studio in Bangor. Well, again, had some, had some good local guests. I remember John Winkin being on there and, and uh, you know, uh, Governor, Governor then Congressman Baldacci was on and, uh, you know, you had some good local guests. Um, the film, the quality of the film was much better because it was Channel 7's camera people doing the work. Uh, and the audio, audio and everything was better. Coming up, The Night Show is reborn again, eight years later. The Night Show is presented by Hollywood Casino Hotel and Raceway. 500 Main Street in downtown Bangor, HollywoodCasinoBangor.com. are always red and the stars are everywhere you look. There's no place like Hollywood. Hollywood Casino Hotel and Raceway Bangor. The Gracie Theater at Husson University. Bangor's best shows off-Broadway. Check out our season lineup at gracietheater.com. 
The Night Show is brought to you by Bangor Savings Bank. With over 50 branches statewide and contemporary online and mobile banking services, at Bangor Savings Bank, you matter more. Member FDIC. This is our first show in eight and a half years, and uh, for the first time in 13 years, we're actually on a television station people watch. Woohoo! Yeah! I do think there were there was definitely more stuff than what I had planned, but after we had done it once or twice, that part got a little easier. It was always interesting because I'm constantly getting new pieces of furniture in and um, big pieces that need a place to go in the gift shop, and then it would be Dan Cashman night, and it would mean rearranging everything in the store. Kept us on our toes, kept the store looking fresh because we constantly had to move things around. Um, you had so many interesting guests, people I never thought I would meet, let alone uh, have in my gift shop and in my theater. Um, that was pretty awesome to meet the different political people and performers and um, people like, you know, our our local celebrities like the Martins lady and um, people that traveled in from other places and I just thought that was that was awesome that was pretty surreal actually to have those people coming through my business cheer them on audience good luck on your mark get set go and nothing yet keep going tossing those eggs I don't see anything yet. no nobody's got anything in there yet not yet not yet no looking for three I can't believe we haven't got nothing up there just yet. There's no! one right over here. There's one over there. Uh, one to one. It's a tie. Two over there. And... Oh, yes, they got it. They got three. You can stop right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nick, you did it. Congratulations. Way to go. Lovely party gets for you. Let's hear for these guys. Nice job. And you make me be in some of those sometimes. And that really stretched me as a person because... Um, as a theater owner and as a person that promotes children overcoming stage fright, I have tremendous stage fright. And that always made me uncomfortable when you asked me to be part of a skit, but I'll be honest, it was good for me. Hi, Tracy. What? Well, this is uh, Tracy. She, she runs the place, the Next Generation here, Theater here in Gore. Yeah. Does a fantastic job. Tracy, um, can I ask you what you're doing? I'm getting ready for our show tomorrow. Oh, what, what show is that? Well, we have Beauty and the Beast here tomorrow at 2 o'clock, right here at Next Generation Theater. Oh, Hello. wonderful. Well, that's great. Yeah. I know. I know. Next Generation Theater has wonderful shows all the time with area, area children. Uh, and I know you have another big one tomorrow, but we're here now. We're doing our show now. I thought you had the week off since there hasn't been any laughter in the theater tonight. Oh. When the opportunity arose to move to Husson University's Gracie Theater, we had to say a difficult goodbye to our friends at the Next Generation that Theater. That was sweet. That meant a lot to me. Um, I got to see firsthand the appreciation for using my facility, and I felt really honored by that. Uh, yeah, that was that was great memory. Cause your future is so bright You're one of the few Who always believed in what we do Who we've wanted to say Hey, thank you for the longest time Your face lights up When the camera lights go on But not as much As it will when we are gone You'll be so happy When we move into the Gracie You wish we'd move there Ladies and gentlemen, Whoa. Joe Kennedy. Yeah. That voice you hear on every show, and the greatest sidekick that you know. You do what you do, and I do what I do for you. That's TV Five's motto for the longest time. Ladies and gentlemen, Allison Strange from Temperature of the Sun.
it's going pretty long Not just the show, but also this song Stopping now would just be too hard It's gone on this far, but it's not quite a total bore Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together behind the curtain Sock, Puppet, Santa Yay! I'm just a song. Well, they can go kiss my jingle bells, and I won't be back for the longest time. Ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful special. For the longest time, I had second thoughts in my core. I said to myself, we're in an antique store. of the night show stay at the Holiday Inn Bangor. There's really only one place where the carpets are always red and the stars are everywhere you look. There's no place like Hollywood. Hollywood Casino, Hotel, and Raceway, Bangor. Since 1954, Cross Insurance has provided the coverage, financial strength, and security needed to safeguard businesses across New England. Cross is a family-owned business, serving clients large and small, including our friends at Gillette Stadium. Cross is one of New England's largest insurance providers, with a network of offices in Maine, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. At Cross, we match policies to our clients' needs at the best rates available. Proud partner of the Patriots, Red Sox, Bruins, and Revolution. Cross Insurance, where security meets strength. The Night Show Performance Series is brought to you by Cross Insurance, where security meets strength. In September of 2014, The Night Show started at Hudson University's Gracie Theater. The collaboration with Nezcom was stronger than ever and still is today. That's a collaboration that's important to The Night Show and important to Nezcom. It's really important. For one thing, I notice the enthusiasm from the students or I'll hear their enthusiasm when they say, you know, I'm interning on The Night Show or I'm stage managing The Night Show this week or uh, their behind the scenes work. They get very excited about it. They see the great product that it's going to be. Uh, they never complain about the full day. They get so, um, they're so willing to help out because they know what they're contributing to and they know what they're a part of. And the, the finished product makes them feel really proud and really good. And that makes us feel good. On the 12th day of night show my true love gave to me. Twelve viewers viewing, eleven restraining orders, ten guests are leaving, nine out of court settlements. Really? Seriously? <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. What am I doing here? <laughs> I think that my overall impression All of the right, night you... show is that it is entertaining and really a slick product that I think exceeds people's expectations. I see it as a way for people to come into the theater and enjoy a different kind of entertainment that they don't see in other places. You can go to see a film or watch a video on Netflix, but then to see the whole process and how it comes together. And the fact that um, it's different than a, a news show, it's got you know comedy and, and 
and music and really good music. And then you get great guests because of the quality of it. Every time I'm looked down on this timeless town, whether blue or gray be her skies, whether loud be her cheers or whether soft be her tears, more and more do I realize I love Paris in the springtime I love Paris in the fall I love Paris in the winter when it drizzles I love Paris in the summer when it sizzles I love Paris every moment every moment of the year I love Paris why, oh, why do I love Paris? Because my love is near. Come here. Because my love, because my love, because my love is near. Oh, yeah. The night show is brought to you by Uno Pizzeria and Grill across Very from nice. Macy's at Thanks, Bangor. So Unbelievable. things um, I found with all the different testing that you have to go through like every month one of the things is not to get too crazy but um, the worst one is that 24-hour ur urinalysis having to collect your urine for 24 hours <laughs> it's a nightmare I mean how do you think about that you're a guy you know you Hell yeah. use the bathroom you don't think you got to go downstairs get in the refrigerator pull out the orange jug. some of us don't even use the bathroom yes go where we are yes <laughs> So I always, um, for a cancer tip for everybody, especially this one, I always say, well, a lot of us, especially the guys can relate, we wear the um, exact same type of underwear. Our uh -huh. draw is filled with one type, <laughs> one, you know. So um, I actually have a pair of Superman underwear, and on, on test day, I wear the Superman underwear, that way I can remember. It was, <laughs> yeah, well, it was either that or I was gonna have to tie a string around my finger to remind me, <laughs> to remind me that I have to collect the yeah, you don't wanna. Yeah. <laughs> 